April is the month of birds singing, early spring harvest, and a surprise plant reveal which is growing strong. So as usual we will begin with a tour of the garden in this monthly series. The April garden looks alive. These are the red onion sets that we planted back in December and they're growing very nicely. They should be ready for harvest by around the end of summer. And just next to the onions bed we sowed the okra seeds in the beginning of April. And as you can see here, they've already sprouted. I've sowed the okra seeds a lot closer than what I did last year. And I'm gonna see how that works out. Moving ahead to our side bed, it has all the nice leafy greens, kale and Swiss chard growing very well. And then on to our tomato jungle. This month, the tomato plants have grown extremely well. As you can see, this is the stage where the plants have grown a lot of leaves and have now started to flower and produce fruits, like you see here. I'm growing several different types of tomatoes uh, this season. If you have seen my December video, I have listed out all the tomato varieties that I've been growing. You can see here some more cherry tomatoes being formed. So this is the optimum weather for tomatoes to start setting fruit. You can see this beans plant. This is a pole bean called the hyacinth bean, which is an interesting variety of bean. And this is the garlic and onion bed. And you can see some potato plants actually growing out of the compost that I added to this bed. And this bed also had a lot of carrots which I harvested and I'll show you that very soon. These are some bush bean plants. As soon as these are done, I'll grow some cucumbers there. And you can see here uh, these corn seedlings that have emerged from this bed. This is a new bed that we just created. And this bed next to that one is the one where we have all our peppers and eggplants. So I'm growing uh, two varieties of eggplants this year and just the poblano peppers. So that's all that we have in the uh, garden as of April. Now let's get down to the details of what exactly happened in April. Now let's look at some of the bed preparations that we did for the summer vegetables. Now I topped off all the raised beds using some organic planting soil. Now you can check your local garden centers for some good deals on organic potting soil. This one is from Costco. If you have a Costco near your home, this is an excellent uh, planting soil mix. It's organic. It has a lot of good organic matter and what I'm gonna do is just empty this bag onto this raised bed and then try to break down all the pieces. Now let's look at what exactly this contains. If you look at the ingredients it has a lot of good organic matter and it also has a lot of nutrition value as listed on the bag. So you just break down all the mix into the raised beds and then you can mix it very well. Now I've advised a lot of my fellow gardeners to make sure that they have their raised beds ready well in advance. So if you are adding new soil to your raised bed, I would suggest wait for at least two weeks because it takes a little bit of time for the organic matter in the soil to break down. So if you're doing this early, the earlier you do the better it is. If you're starting your raised bed like absolutely new, I would suggest wait for about two months. I already have a lot of soil in my raised bed. So I gave it about two weeks. So after two weeks, uh, this mix is ready for planting. 
and as you can see here all you need to do is just uh, mix it well with the soil and level it and this is the bed uh, that I planted my eggplants and peppers and I mixed in a lot of compost in this bed you can see some leaves uh, even from here now as far as the harvest goes spring is a great time April has a lot of strawberries growing as you can see here very delicious if you grow strawberries at home you'll realize they're absolutely delicious and cabbages we harvested a lot of cabbages in April all the cabbages that we started in the previous months you can watch the previous videos to see where we had these little cabbage plants and they grew very well as you can see here on raised beds in containers as well and I've been posting regular updates uh, for all our harvests on our Facebook page so do check them out and here you can see some icicle radish white icicle radish that are growing in very small containers and this is a great radish variety to grow if you're limited in space they grow in very small spaces and they grow very fast they have a short top and they have a nice a big root so a great radish variety to grow and we harvested a few and the leaves and the radish roots are very delicious now moving on to the carrots harvest we had one bed dedicated to carrots and uh, there were a lot of carrots that we harvested from this bed now this bed I made, a I made a little bit of a change in the way I added my raised bed mix. What I did was I added a lot of peat moss and vermiculite for better moisture retention and I noticed that worked really well for these carrots. These carrots grew very well in this mix. And cilantro was another herb that was growing in this raised bed. We harvested a lot of cilantro and it's a great herb to grow year round and I keep planting more and more so that I can harvest it as much as I can and we now come to the fenugreek harvest you can see two little kids helping me here two little hands and uh, gardening is always a joy for kids they just absolutely love gardening and they absolutely love harvesting vegetables and uh, helping you out with that in today's episode, I have a surprise for you. Grapes. Yes, our grape plant has been growing for the last two years. And finally, this year, we have seen grapes growing. And I'm going to be posting a detailed video on how uh, the grape plant has been grown. But this is a really good thing. I'm going to I'm, I'm really excited to see how these grapes turn out. Our green amaranth is growing very well. It's in the greenhouse right now. And our container tomatoes have started showing the first tomatoes. The avocado tree that we have, our dwarf avocado tree, the gem, has these flowers now. They will turn into avocados very soon. And then all the fruit trees are in full bloom. This is the Washington navel orange tree. It's growing very well this season and the pomegranate tree is loaded with blooms and I hope to get a lot of pomegranates this year and we've had good chill uh, this winter. We have had some good cool days so this should result in much better fruit production this year. Now remember the things to do for this month in case you haven't already done it. Transplant all your seedlings, your tomato seedlings, your eggplant seedlings this is a good time to get them in containers or in the ground if you've been following our previous episodes you should know that this is a good time and potato plants they're growing very well remember to fertilize them add fertilizer for all your plants this is a great time to do that in the growing season and remember to hand pollinate your tomato plants as well as eggplants and all your other vegetables for maximum yield. So there we have it folks. That was our episode on the monthly gardening series for April. So I hope you got an idea of how our garden looks like in the month of April. 
and you know what to do during this month. We'll see you again soon. Happy gardening.